Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make some Kung Fu tea. Kung Fu in this case does not mean martial art. It is actually meaning as we are putting a lot of effort into making a perfect tea for everyone. Here we have this black tray. It is a metal tray. And it is for holding water or tea. You will see later on in the video how is the water and tea coming into this tray? And we have this wooden tray that I will place it on top of the metal black tray. On this wooden tray, we have holes for tea water dripping through. So it stays dry and drained. First, we have this little pot with a lovely lid. The lid is actually wrapped and covered with materials. It helps to seal the tea inside. Inside the teapot today we have some oolong tea. Oolong tea grows in the southern part of China, particularly in Fujian province. It's very aromatic. It smells lovely and it tastes sweet. It has a long lasting taste in your mouth after you drink it. Here we got a wooden spoon for scooping tea out. Now, I have this set of beautiful Kung Fu tea set. First, I will show you. This is the teapot. It is very small, very different to, let's say, English tea teapot. We're drinking Kung Fu tea, um, we don't drink a lot. So the whole set is quite mini. Many people make Kung Fu tea for their friends or guests. The whole set is made from clays.
Now we have the sieve. So when you pouring tea out of the teapot, the sieve will catch the leaves that are coming out of the pot. This is just a stand for putting your sieve on top. Here we have a little jar. Um, in Chinese, it's called Fahai. It's also called Justice Jar. What that means is if you keep pouring tea straight out of the teapot into teacups, the first cup of tea tastes different than the last cup of tea. So not everyone will taste the tea the same way it tastes. So what we do is we pour the tea out of the teapot into this little jar so the taste is even. It brewed in a teapot for the same length of time. And from this far high, the tea jar, we will then pour them into individual teacups. These are the teacups. You can see they are quite tiny. Kung Fu tea is not to make you drink um, while you're thirsty. It is more of um, entertaining guests and a taste of the beautiful tea. More of a sipping drink. We have this cha jia teacup clamp. As you can see, I can pick one teacup up and wash them in another teacup. You will see later why we're washing them. into the teapot ok 
Can you smell it? The fragrance. It smells really lovely. Making tea is such a soothing process. Now, I'm boiling some water.
we leave the tea to brew for about one minute. This is the first pot of tea that we never drink the first pot of tea because it is called Si Cha Washing Tea. You can see the sieve has catched some tea leaves. Part of the wash tea process is to also wash your cups. The hot tea will also warm up the teacups. Now I'll wash each of the teacups with the first pot of tea. The reason we wash tea is to wash off any residues on the tea and also the tea tastes at its best after one wash. Now the cups are warm. This is the second part of tea that I already allowed a brew for another minute.
made you some kung fu tea. I hope you enjoy it. How did it taste? That's lovely. Now I'm going to have a sip. tasted so nice. That aromatic taste just stays in your mouth, triggers your taste buds. Here you go. It is the small process of making Kung Fu tea. I hope you enjoyed it and also learned a few things about Kung Fu tea. Are you feeling relaxed? Um, I hope you have a good night's sleep. Don't worry about the caffeine as it's decaf tea. Thank you for watching. And see you in the next video.